Good morning, my name is Derek Arrowood. I'm proud to be the superintendent at Hamilton Heights School Corporation. Today is Friday, September 22nd, 2023. This is the 94th edition of the monthly update. Thanks to Rodney Freeman. He's got his Andrew Luck jersey on today, but he's a Husky at heart. Today is homecoming in Hamilton Heights. I got my orange on and I'll talk a little bit more about our athletic teams here in a second. We are at the Hamilton Heights High School. We are in our brand new fax room, family and consumer science room. We renovated this room over the summer and it is gorgeous. And it, if you are kind of old like me, you might remember that we had home ec for years and we did away with it and kind of we've come full circle and family and consumer science um, program is a pathway that can lead us into all kinds of cool stuff like culinary arts and things like that. So um, really cool program, really cool facilities, top notch, really proud of it. So family and consumer science at the high school, that's where we are today. And I want to tell you five things you need to know about Hamilton Heights School Corporation. So here we go. Number one, I want to brag about three kids. The College Board National Recognition Program gives that award and we had three big winners. Um, three students receive academic honors for Adriana Kaufman um, was a National Rural and Small Town Award winner. Uh, Jonah Garcia was a National Indigenous Award winner. And Leslie Germello Acosta was the National Hispanic Recognition Award winner. So we're thrilled to celebrate our students and recognize them for the great work they're doing. So congratulations to Adriana, jo Jonah, and Leslie for doing great things and getting Hampton Heights some recognition because of their awesome awesomeness. Way, way to go. Uh, number two, I want to brag about a Heights graduate, Sam Roop, um, graduated probably 2017-ish, 2018-ish, and uh, he just got hired on at the Hamilton County Sheriff's Department as a sheriff's deputy. Sam's dad, Wayne, um, is a longtime Husky supporter, uh, was our tennis coach for several years. Sam was a great baseball player, um, went off to college, and now is one of is protecting our community. So we're really proud of you, Sam, really proud of the work that, that, that you do. We have a awesome relationship with the Hamilton County Sheriff's Department. We have a resource officer, Kevin Neal at the high school, uh, Josh Ireland at the elementary school, and John Tennell at the middle school. Three of the best resource officers in the country, and they've been recognized as that. And we're really fortunate to have those guys protecting our kids on a daily basis. They are actively involved in everything we do. Uh, uh, John Tindall helps coach our unified uh, football team. Josh Ireland helps coach our track team. Kevin's in his first year at Hamilton Heights, but he's really engaged already in our community. And so really thankful to Hamilton County Sheriff's Department and really proud that like Josh Ireland, who's also a Hamilton Heights graduate, uh, Sam Roop is now a Hamilton County Sheriff's deputy. So way to go, Sam, we're proud of you. Number three, I wanna brag about a program we do at the high school. Um, it, that is called the uh, Husky Bean Award. And so what happens is kids nominate kids for being nice to each other. And so uh, Lori Watson, who's our third counselor at the high school, uh, a couple, about last year we added a third counselor at the high school, so now we have three, April Bauer, um, Rebecca Johnson, and Lori Watson. This is kind of Lori's thing, and, and she's really working on kindness at the high school. And so we had several kids that, that get recognized every month. And last month we had uh, Sam Harpin got re re uh, recognized, Taylor Morrison, Angela uh, Lena McMillan got recognized, Hunter Powell, and James Zachary. So James and Lena are big stars on our unified flag football team. Um, um, the Taylor Morrison is, you're going to hear about her in a second, on our girls golf team. So great kids um, doing great things. Another thing, number, I don't know, three, four, five, six, four, it looks like four that we do to recognize our staff is we have a Husky Hero Award. And we recognize that monthly, the Bowens, uh, um, they are local realtors here in town. Um, Amber, who is um, a, about to have her, their, their first child, uh, and Craig, uh, they write a check, a big Happy Gilmore check every month for $250. Last month at the high school, Emily Carson, our ag teacher, and our ag program is rocking. It's actually become a problem because as we're renovating this space, probably the next space we're going to have to renovate because we have so many students in the program, is our ag space for Mrs. Carson and her program. Our FFA kids compete all over Indiana now, and then they're qualifying for state competition, and then the, in the spring they'll qualify for national uh, competition, and they'll be all over the country judging meat and judging soil and and judging FFA stuff. So they're a really, really cool program. Emily won that award, she got the big check. This month, uh, just announced earlier this week, the president of the Hamilton Heights Educational Foundation, which is a partnership with this, 
uh, Melissa Martin got the award and she didn't know she was getting it. So she got surprised and the Bowens did a great job of kind of sneaking up on her and giving her the big check and, and you'll see her picture in the paper here soon and we'll probably recognize her uh, next month. Number five, we have made history at Hamilton Heights High School and I don't like to brag about athletics a lot, a lot but this fall has been awesome. Our girls golf team, uh, shout out to Ellie Arrowwood, alumni of the girls golf team and Katie Gelhausen who went to state and we've had multiple girls um, like Katie Gelhausen who made it to state as an individual but we've never had a team make it out of sectional so the way golf works is the top three teams in each sectional move on to the regional boys team we've had individuals make it out of the sectional girls team we've had individuals make it to the state but as a team never this year, we had two girls that decided to play golf for the first time. Cameron Runner, you've heard her name a lot. She's an um, all-world basketball player going to the University of Evansville next year to play basketball. Um, Hadley Cherry, who just wins sectionals. Um, she's won, I think, three sectionals now um, during her career, at least two during her career, Hampton Heights, maybe three. Um, they're the two seniors that came out. Hadn't played a lot of golf and have done a great job. And then we had three freshmen that are doing a great job, Presley Cherry, um, Hadley's sister, um, Taylor Morrison, who has, has been great all season, and then um, Tanner Penwell. Uh, so three freshmen, two seniors, first time in school history they made it out of sectional. So they'll be playing in the regional. Really proud of them. Our football team is 5-0. and They have um, homecoming tonight against the evil Twin Lakes uh, Indians, and they're four and one, so they're pretty good, so that should be a great game. Our JV football team, five and oh. Our volleyball team is phenomenal to watch. They play a brutal schedule. They're like 15 and four. Um, they had Noblesville beat um, and lost in five sets. They had New Palestine beat and lost in five sets. Uh, played a really, really good Zionsville team, played them close. Uh, so really proud of those girls and those teams. Uh, our tennis teams, have, as, uh, boys tennis team, starting to have some success. Our, our soccer team played for the uh, boys side, played for the conference championship and got beat on penalty kicks by the relatively evil West Lafayette Red Devils. And uh, our, our girls soccer team has, has won the last two sectionals and has had another great year under Coach Kaufman. So really proud of those kids. What I love about especially our girls golf program, all five of those girls are fantastic students. Um, great kids, great girls, they represent us too, so well, and they have fun playing golf. Congratulations to Coach Jones, first ever Hamilton Heights golf team to make it out of section. We're really proud of you guys. My name is Derek Arrowwood. I'm honored to be the superintendent of Hamilton Heights School Corporation. Go Huskies, it's homecoming. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours.